Hey there, everyone. Uh, welcome to Breakbeat Torture 101. <laughs> First tutorial about how I make my crazy weirdo drum patterns. Uh, I've been asked for it <laughs> since quite a long time, so let's get into it. So first, I have a good old Amen break over here. I'm just gonna make it fit right here, yep. So I don't uh, like to use the warp in Ableton for all beat related stuff. I don't think, I don't like the way it sounds. So I just sync things the old way using the detune over here to make the, the drum fit on the grid as I want. So today we are going to focus on only the audio editing part. What we can do with just uh, copying, pasting, cutting just bits of audio and see how it sounds like. One of the very easy things, especially in Ableton with the grid, is to repeat part of audio, like this. We'll select this one and duplicate it with Command or Control D. Okay, simple. So here I'm going to copy the whole thing here, make a second pattern. And for this one, I'm going to take this part, move it over here, duplicate it again as well. Here I've just moved a few things around, but we can be a bit more specific. Let's take this one. So as you can hear in this part, I've taken just a bit of a kick here and repeated it. It doesn't, it can sound fun. It, it sounds like mashing a little bit. If you want it to sound more natural, you can select different kicks from the same sample and alternate between those. works very well with snares as well. One of the classic other sound is to reverse things. Now here you can hear a ugly click. When you want to remove clicks, usually it's just a matter of fade in and out things. And we are going to get a little bit deeper about the fade. I use them a lot for uh, tighten the drums. Here I'm using uh, Control E or Command E to cut the audio into multiple parts. Then I can access the fade for each of them. You can change the curve as well. The more exponential you go, the more the shorter and the more tight it will be. So you can make the classic drill sounds by just taking, zooming in, taking a small bit of audio and duplicate it a lot of time. Can 
combine all of those by consolidating the clip then going to the clip automation here volume and then draw envelopes for each of those hits ah, come on. Uh, duplicate And one of the last uh, classic audio edit we can do is to pitch things up and down. So this part, for example, minus 12, one octave down. We can do the classic pitch roll down. Well, it's a bit of a pain in the ass to do it this way, but at least we have full control of, for example, I can go to increment of one or increment of two or accelerate the drop in pitch three here let's make a fat minus 12 up. minus 24 Let's duplicate this. And this is, this is going to sound fun. And let's do the up, pitch up stuff. So yeah, as you can hear, you can do pretty much most of the classic jungle drilly effects with just manipulating audio without any VSTs or stuff like this. For the next part, we'll talk about additional effects on this. See you next week.